to the Now Morning Show on this Monday morning. And because it's Monday, of course, we have the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service in the form of Inspector Misha Lewis joining us as we discuss some of the issues facing our country. Inspector, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us good on Now. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. It's always a pleasure to have the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service here. Absolutely. Yeah. And yes, it's the end of the August vacation period. Java is done. Java is done. Independence on Thursday, yes. please, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this morning, we want to touch again on the aspect of the larceny. Right. Um, so for the last two weeks, we have actually looked at larceny. So last week, we looked at receiving stolen goods, which right. is part of larceny. Right. And prior to that, we also looked at where persons have items on sale online and persons um, go with the intent of purchasing the item. And sometimes they are set up and robbed. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Or the items, um, they are robbed or stolen. So right. you have under the Larceny Act, which is chapter 11 of 12, you have robbery and then you have larceny. The difference between larceny and robbery is really the fear. So a person comes in front of you, two or three persons um, commit the offense, and then there's the fear. Unless, unlike somewhere where someone actually pickpockets you, you didn't see when it happened or snaps, snatches something from you and you didn't realize it happened. So there's no fear. So there's a difference between larceny and robbery. Yeah. Both of them fall under the Larceny Act, Chapter 11 of 12. Of course. So for example, with motor vehicles, as we mentioned just before we yes, started, right. with motor vehicles, you would have um, larceny motor vehicles and robbery motor vehicles right. under the same act. Robbery would be that you actually buy the vehicle, the mm -hmm. person can point a fire and do something else, and they steal the vehicle from you. Right. Last thing is you park the vehicle in the night, you went to sleep, you wake up in the morning. No vehicle. The vehicle no is vehicle. Gone. Gotcha. Now, Inspector, although both falls under the, the same act, mm -hmm. um, are the offenses and the consequences, are they the same or different? It will be different. Yeah. So it depends on the severity. So if you use firearms, so with the use of firearms, there comes also offenses under that, that mm -hmm. act. Right. Under that act, yeah. So um, when the person is um, arrested, there will be offenses under so possession of a firearm, mm -hmm. possession of firearm and ammunition, right. and that kind and of thing. So it will have or larceny, depending yeah, on the it circumstance. Will be a combined, yeah. yeah, it will be different offenses. So this morning we look at the offense of larceny. So larceny remains the same. Um, the ingredients really is that the intent is to permanently deprive someone of something right. that is capable of being stolen, yeah. right? So it's not like if somebody borrows something from you or something like that. It has to be to really take it from you forever, hmm. right? So mm -hmm. we know that at the end of the vacation here, we have parents, um, persons going out to buy last minute shopping for school items, uniforms and that kind of thing. You have persons who are doing the last minute outing with their family and their mm -hmm. friends. July, um, August, only they finished, you know, getting paid, so we want to do something right. before you go back out to school. And then you have the Independence Day Parade, the 61st anniversary celebration. And people will be going out, they're gonna buy the red, white, and black outfit <laughs> to come out yes. looking nice. Yes. Last thing it can happen. You have the pickpocketers, you have the grabbers, you have the snatchers. So we want persons to be mindful that even as you go out there to conduct your normal business and to enjoy your everyday living, to be very concerned and be very vigilant of the surroundings that you're in. Absolutely. For an offense to take place, it must have three ingredients, which is um, a victim, a perpetrator, and an opportunity. So if you eliminate any of those from the triangle, there'll be no crime. So that um, you will often hear the police say, make yourself a hard target. Yes. And that is to, you know, um, not be so relax in the things that you do or um, care less in, the, in your approach sometimes, that will cause you to be an easy target, like exposing the money, for example. Of course. Well, Inspector, I have to ask, because on that same vein, I mean, I know we often joke about it, but long mm -hmm. ago, your parents used to give you money, you wrap it up in the handkerchief, you toss it, you put yes. it somewhere to hide. I mean, but now we're more modern. Some people are going with the, with the cards, but mm -hmm. they can still get robbed at the mm -hmm. ATM. And so how can you ensure that as you're doing your last minute shopping, whether you're doing your last minute form of leisure or entertainment, that yes. you are safe when uh, either producing the ATM card or credit card or producing the cash so the card is a good way to go um, your debit card um, it's less likely 
Um, whereas with Accredit, yes, a lot of online, international, and stuff like that. Not mm -hmm. that it, both of them um, offenses don't take place, they do. Right. Um, less of two evils. Less, yes. <laughs> so where you have, for example, um, a lot, and a lot of places now have the machines, even to do your hair and your nails, or a barber shop, you will get them having the portable machines for not just the customer safety, but, but for the their well. safety Absolutely. as well. Mm -hmm. So you can use your... Um, electronic means of payment, with whichever you prefer, to have less cash in your hand. Of course, sometimes when you go to purchase something, you'll have cash, but have it separate so that um, you wouldn't have like $500 stack away and then you, you, know, you pull out a wad to show up that you had a whole, have, have a whole set of money. You know, you have like $100 too, and you have it separate so that you do not cause um, unnecessary attention to be drawn to you. And where there's a perpetrator wrong, you do not present the opportunity for the crime to take place. Right. We definitely want some, as you say, take all those ingredients so that the crime can't take mm -hmm. place. But we are seeing, or rather, let me ask, are we seeing increased instances of a larceny at the ATM specifically because as you mentioned this is the time when we're trying to get things together are we actually statistically seeing yes increases? we are we are seeing an increase in that where um, persons are going to the machine or sorry to the bank mm -hmm. as well to withdraw money as well as to the ATM machines mm -hmm. and persons um, would have done their observances mm -hmm. with, with criminal intent and uh, um, wait for such persons, and then, of course, the offense takes place. Right. So in that case, whether we're using cards or cash, we're going to be susceptible. What can we as citizens yeah. do to be more vigilant, to be better, or harder targets, as you say? <laughs> right. So, for example, when you go into an ATM machine, you try not to go too late in the night or very early in the morning when there are very few people around there. Um, if it is, you know that you're going, well, the machine does not allow you um, a lot of cash withdrawal in the first instance, right? Um, you may want to do deposit if you're a businessman or something like that, so the deposit would be a lot. But if it is that you have to do an excessive amount, we encourage you to have security detail, um, personal security from a reputable company, please. Um, we also encourage you that, for example, um, though I'm a police officer, if I'm going to do something that is more than $3,000, sorry, I'm going to have a driver, yeah. be it somebody, non-police, mm -hmm. right there with me with a vehicle so I could just enter in the vehicle. And get out there. Quickly. And get out there. Makes and sense. so even as you enter the vehicle, you're going to be observant to see if there's any other vehicle that is following you. Mm -hmm. And you, if you observe a vehicle that's following you, you drive into the nearest police station, fire station, gas, even, a gas station even. Right? Because the police station may not be in close proximity, right. but you're feeling threatened. And of course, you call 999-555. You raise an alarm. Mm -hmm. You put on your hazard lights, you put, put on your beams, and you raise an alarm to oncoming vehicles if you believe that you're in imminent danger. Okay. So you do what you can to preserve your life. Absolutely. Most important. Because Lord knows, unfortunately, you've worked hard for it, but they feel entitled to it. Exactly. So yes, by every means necessary. Which, of course, yeah. is a sad reality. But I have to ask our inspector, so we mentioned, you know, using the cards um, as opposed to the cash, especially to make yourself that harder target, mm -hmm. as we've been saying. But there are instances, and I'm going, oh, of course, a bit, but there are instances where even at the point of sale machines at the business place, we have the issues of skimming, where people have lost cash as a result of being skimmed. Sometimes it happened in the ATM as well. Well, so then how do you protect yourself in that instance? So whenever you're doing purchases with your via your card, it's important that you keep that card in your eyes view at all times. At all times. So that if the person say that you're going, if you come into a next machine, you go with the next machine, even if it's a card that is tapping. So you follow your card wherever. The card is not supposed to leave the surface of the counter. Observe to see if the person has... Um, any, well, you, you may not know because sometimes a device could be in the pocket and they're not And they're right? not sure, yes. Right, but where, for example, you did not do a legitimate purchase, you can query it with the bank and the bank would do the investigations and treat it accordingly. Because for every sale that you would have transacted with your card, you can legitimize and say, well, this is, this is what I did and mm -hmm. this was not. And the bank, through their devices, their technology, would see that that was not a legitimate purchase right. that you made. Yeah. So you can take that up with the, with the um, financial institutions. 
Good. So we have a lot that we can explore in the last mm -hmm. day. I feel like it may be a topic we'll explore another <laughs> date. But in terms of those tips that we want to make sure st uh, citizens explore, we certainly want to remove the ingredients yes. for that crime to happen. So making yourself a hard target mm -hmm. is key. But are there mm -hmm. any other factors we should consider? So, for example, so, I mean, we know we like handbags, right? Mm -hmm. um, and handbags appears to be the place that person like to stash the money woman like to put away that thing. But you know, you don't need a handbag really. You just need, you know, to have the important stuff there. Yes. And so if, if you are shopping, when you are shopping, you try to eliminate anything that will give you that kind of um, cause persons to look at you and, right. and be curious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be confident in the way that you carry yourself. Be assertive and pay attention to your surroundings. Always glance mm. to your left and to your right, and, and as we say, um, peripheral vision, so that you would observe if someone is following you. And we also want to encourage persons not to be on your cell phones when you know that you are engaging in mm -hmm. a lot of activities. You are window shopping, you are checking out stores and stuff like that. Do not let your, te your cell phone be a distraction to you. You have children with you during the period of time. You may have given them some kind of device to hold. Last year, the cell phone is also a criminal offense. Keep that cell phone away from that child when you are out in public. Let that child put away that cell phone. Even the child is 16 and they can handle it, the child can still be a victim of an offense. Right. What the TTPS want to do is to eliminate the opportunities where crime can be committed. And so we have a reduction in the statistics and the effects of crime. Of course. Because the data is one thing. But when a criminal offense happens, it really affects the individuals Absolutely. really, really bad. Recycle There's a the fear gun. that comes in there yeah. that it takes some counseling and some real to get you back in a place of comfort to mm -hmm. want to go out. So it's not just the criminal aspect that we look at in terms of the act, but also the emotional um, trauma that the person experiences. So where you have larceny, even though um, you may not have been put in immediate fear, the fact that somebody would have taken this away from you, it's a large set of money, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. it, it affects you. Absolutely. Inspector, one more question before we go. Uh, are there certain periods of the year where we will see increase in larceny, increase in robbery, as opposed to others? Um, usually whenever we have... Um, holidays. Holidays, and as well as when you have certain big ticket concerts in the country. Mm. You will see um, an increase in larceny and robbery um, for whatever reasons, um, to go to, for the girlfriends to dress up or whatever the reason you would see an increase. We would see an increase around certain times of the year. We'll also see an increase in relation to um, larceny motor vehicles um, because those um, items are used to commit arrestable offenses. Well, yeah, to commit crimes. And of course we can also go into the models that are more particularly yeah. uh, attractive to yeah. the criminals than others, yeah. So yeah, there are seasons where you see it, where you see those criminal offenses yeah. taking place. And, and last any motor vehicle is still a very serious offense in Trinidad. And so even with your vehicles, ensure that when you are approaching your vehicle that you have your keys in your hand and that you would have parked your vehicle in a well-lit area. And even in the night when you're going to sleep, park your vehicle in a safe space that you are able to secure a vehicle or put the devices in it that would cause you to be alarmed if something should happen. Mm -hmm. A motor vehicle is an expensive thing, you know. Yes. Right after. Home, Goes without you know. saying, of course. Of so, course. you know, protect it. Yeah, put in the devices, 3,000, 5,000, but your vehicle is 200,000, 150,000. So we want to encourage you to be wise and secure your property, secure your life, so that we have less of criminal offenses taking place. And I think we that's where we're going to end, at least for today, Trinidad but go ahead and tell me hear you. <laughs> we want to wish all of Trinidad and Tobago a very, very happy independent 61st yeah. anniversary. Yes, yes. I mean, Trinidad and Tobago Police Service will be out in the parade, and we trust that you have an enjoyable week. Are you, yeah. are you a part of the parade this year, Inspector? Not no, this year. Not. <laughs> I can have done it already. This year, <laughs> but it's an enjoyable thing. Yes, but yes. You'll be spectating. You'll be out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I will have duties. Okay. okay. Yes, I'll be, right, I will yeah. have um, duties. So of course, if you see something, say something. Say something, yeah. Dial 999-555-800-TIPS. 
and keep the partnership with the TTPS. Nice. And that's where we're going to end it for today. Inspector, always a pleasure to have you in with us Likewise. this morning. I know that we could have gone more into the larceny, mm -hmm. but the overview that you gave us, I think, is going to be very key for us as we wrap up Java and look forward to the last quarter of the year. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks again. <laughs> and that, of course, was Inspector Misha Lewis with the TTPS, just sharing how we can make ourselves a hard target so that criminals are not attracted to stealing our items. You know, the Now Morning Show, we're going to take a break but up next we have your birthdays you don't want to miss that one stay with us mm -hmm.